This film is about Fozcheck fire retardant and the way it was handled at Snowy Plains Fire in February 1986. This is a view of the terrain in the area. Note the heavily wooded countryside and the rock escarpments. These features make it very inaccessible to ground crews. This makes aerial attack an invaluable means of combating fires in this type of countryside. The use of retardants in the initial attack is often very important as many hours may pass between the initial drop and the time the ground crews and equipment arrive on the scene. Bombing fires with Fozcheck was used as an initial attack in this type of country whilst men were ferried to the fire line by helicopter. These men made helipads at strategic locations around the fires. The ground crews were then ferried in helicopters from camp to fire line. While the ground crews fought the fire in this hilly and rocky country, fixed wing aircraft and helicopters worked in conjunction with them, bombing the fires with Fozcheck and making a barrier to slow further spread of fire in this wild country. Fozcheck mixing takes place on site at the airfield. The powder is available in 25 kilogram bags and in 1,000 kilogram bulk containers. The department uses the 25 kilogram bags. After delivery by truck to the airfield, the Fozcheck is then moved into the storage and mixing shed. The bags must be kept dry and any tears repaired immediately. Fozcheck D75 is a chemical compound added to water to increase its effectiveness in putting out fires. Aircraft and helicopters are used to drop Fozcheck onto fires. Fozcheck works by increasing the absorption rate of water into the fuel and it has a smothering effect. Used in a first attack roll, it is a means of initially limiting the progress of a fire until the ground crew can reach the fire. As an adjunct to traditional ground firefighting methods, it is particularly useful in rugged, inaccessible country where fire crews have difficulty in reaching the fires. The Fozcheck contains a red dye so that it is visible both while being dropped and after it has been dropped. We are now going to look at the mixing process for which there must be a plentiful supply of water. The pipe which is being held brings water in from outside. Fozcheck D75 is an irritant and as such it can cause abrasion to and inflammation of human tissue. The manufacturers recommend that it be handled in accordance with good industrial hygiene and safety practices. These practices include avoiding unnecessary contact with the material and the inhalation of dust. Removal of the material from eyes, skin and clothing by thorough washing, the wearing of foam bound goggles and the wearing of a respirator or dust mask appropriate to the task in hand. The men are using a mixing ratio of four 25 kilogram bags of Fozcheck to approximately a thousand litres of water. When mixing has been completed, the mixing tank is hosed out to stop any residue settling and gelling. After mixing, the Fozcheck slurry is pumped through these hoses to either a waiting fixed wing aircraft, a storage tank or an open vat. Helicopters fill their buckets and also fill their belly tanks through an umbilical hose. 
Using hoses to fill a helicopters is the more efficient method. The culmination of all the workers' effort. Another load of Fostech slurry leaves for the fire line.